Hi guys, Seb here or Likipilla. Uh, today I'm gonna show go over my Final Cut export and project settings. I'll start off the project settings. Um, when it comes to editing Call of Duty, I use 720p HD, um, 1280 by 720, and this kind of important frame rate 30p, not 59.94 like the clips are, um, because if you use um, 30p the slow motion in Final Cut is smoother I do not know why but it just is it works a lot better and uh, also YouTube automatically drops your video to 30 frames per second so there's really no point in using anything more when exporting an edit when I export or record and export my clips I actually use 59.94 59 um, I've got custom audio settings uh, audio channel stereo Audio sample rate 48 uh, kilohertz, a render format Apple ProRes um, 422. Um, and when it comes to my actual Xbox export settings, there's not much to choose from, but I do have some settings uh, export video and audio, of course. And um, you want to choose H.264 because this is um, most compatible. Uh, export setting you can have the best video codec you can have it's really compatible with for example YouTube and uh, After Effects is all around a good um, good uh, video codec and you get a pretty good quality as well uh, if you are really nifty you could use Apple ProRes 42 high quality but that uh, it makes the clip gigantic. If you see this edit, it is about three minutes, and that's two point six gigabytes. And if I put it to H.264, it's only three hundred and thirteen megabytes. So that's a huge difference, and the quality difference, in my opinion, is not big enough to do like me being willing to use so much more render time and have such a larger clip. So. That's my export settings, there's not much to it, and uh, thank you guys for watching, goodbye.